Ah, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, this wasn't one of the jobs we was going to do for November, but uh, these top butts, water butts, have got the uh, taps fitted so that we can uh, empty the water via the tap into the barrels below and then they're all interconnected uh, into these and as you can see with the amount of rain we've had uh, all these barrels are full all level as much as we can get in and uh, we hadn't got a tap for this um, the uh, taps uh, at their expensive uh, are over five pounds I normally get these from uh, Wilco's at £3.50 and I got this one for £1.75 uh, in the um, winter sales. I'm surprised it was in the winter sales because this is the time that you would perhaps replace your tap or fit it to uh, a water book. So I want to quickly show you how I do it. I'm going to be using uh, my uh, drill that I reviewed uh, earlier on in the year. This is a, a 25 mil uh, wood bit to do a, a round hole. And I'll bring that water barrel in, empty the water out that's collected by the top. Uh, this is mainly because I've had quite a few viewers ask me uh, how uh, easy it is to do the the worst thing is getting a tap cheap enough especially when you're gardening on a budget it's a good job i wait and i was it's a good job i waited and i was patient now on the bottom of the barrels that uh, i managed to get uh, these i get from work because again people keep asking where do you get them from these have the ad blue delivered uh, for the vehicles uh, 220 litres uh, they're not recyclable not returnable should we say so uh, I recycle them for them and uh, there's like a little hole there where you can actually hold so uh, if I ever have to tip them up to get the last little bit out I always put it on the uh, opposite side these barrels have a little bit of a bow in them so we want it roughly on the flat and uh, it's uh, just there somewhere so that uh, we get a nice flat flush with the tap so it doesn't leak and then we can uh, use this uh, to uh, create the uh, hole <laughs> And not forgetting to make sure we pick up all this uh, blue plastic else uh, we'll be contaminating the, uh, the soil. I normally put a plastic sheet down but I haven't done it guys. So the uh, little rubber washer goes on there. Uh, don't try and fold it on, just try and uh, screw it on as he drops it on the floor. So that's fitted on there and remember don't over tighten it uh, 25 mil is the right diameter for uh, this type of tap and then we just pop this on the back uh, tend to have to be upside down but being this is nice and tight we can then turn this round to uh, finish it off if your arms are long enough this uh, water tank in the polytunnel is also connected to uh, all of that and uh, like I said before I've left this higher so that it doesn't overflow that water in the summer will warm up nicely for the plants right let's get this other barrel filled so this is uh, my power source there's the solar controller the extension cable to uh, extend it up and around the corner so we have the uh, the uh, bilge pump. Uh, this is uh, a handle off uh, a, a wheelbarrow, which fits nicely into uh, the pipe for a connection onto that. Pop that into the water, into the barrel above. Away. And 
as you can see, uh, it does pump uh, really well. And uh, just started to fill up nicely. I shall put a piece of pipe on there and connect it into there eventually, as I will the others. And as you can see, it's dragging water from there. Meanwhile, that little siphoning hose will be drawing water from that one, and the next one will be drawing from that one, from that one, all the way up. And uh, this one will refill to a reasonable level again. We had uh, a slight leak on that, but I just popped the uh, pliers on the inside and turned the tap from the outside, and that secured that. I'll just switch it off before it overflows. And as you can see, it's drawing water out there, and you just might be able to see it, uh, the movement in there. Now it's topping this one up, and we're due rain again today. Uh, it's Saturday the 26th. You might get to see this tonight, or you might get to see this in the future, but uh, that's uh, for some of the viewers that uh, email me asking me a little bit more about the blue barrels and the taps. Yeah, this system does really work. Uh, it's uh, really well, the effort, uh, well worth the effort. And uh, We've got taps on there, we've got one stacked on top of the other. That water only gets used in desperation again here. And you can see sometimes where the water's sitting, but I think they're all full. And uh, they'll be ready for irrigation uh, in the polytunnel eventually. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time my friends. Try for now.